Hello and welcome. In today's video, I'll be taking you through solving the sum all primes challenge on freecodecom.org. The challenge is to sum all the prime numbers up to the one passed into the function over here. And the steps I took to solve this one are as follows. First, I needed to create a loop to iterate over all the possible numbers. Then, uh, inside that loop, I created another one to iterate over all possible devices for that number. And next, I, inside the second loop, I created a condition checking for prime numbers. And last but not least, I returned the sum of all primes. So let's get down to coding now. As I said before, uh, I want to start off by creating a loop to iterate over all possible primes. So I'll create a variable here and I will set it to the num argument here. And for as long as primes is greater than zero, I want to decrease it on every iteration. Now here I want to do another loop, this time for all the divisors. So I'll create it another variable and I'll, I'll be starting from two because every prime number is dividable by one and every number is dividable by one. So we don't care about that really. Um, now I want it to run for as long as the variable is less than or equal to the prime number that we're checking. And I want to increase it on every iteration. Now, moving on to step three, I want to check if the prime is dividable by dividable dividable by any other number by, but itself. First, I want to check if the divisor is equal to the prime. And if it is, uh, I'm going to create a, an array here. And I want to push that prime into the array. Now, if that's not true, uh, I want to check if the prime is dividable by this div variable here. So I'm going to check if the rest operator is equal to zero after the division. And if that's true, I just want to break out of the loop because that means that it's not a prime number. So that way, when I have really big numbers like 977 here, for example, if uh, 900 isn't a prime, I don't have to go all the way to 900 to, to figure out that it's not a prime. As soon as we hit 2, so on the first iteration, it's going to tell me that it's it's this is equal to 0. So I'm going to break out and I'm going to move on to 901. Um, so that's the idea behind this uh, if statement. Now to finish it off, I'll sum all the uh, numbers in the array. So I'll run a reduce function on it. And here I will use two arguments. The first one is the accumulator, which I just set to zero here. And the second one is going to be the item from my array. I just want to sum these two. And it works. So that's it for this challenge. Let me know how you did and I'll see you in the next video.